Connect 4 has always been one of my favorite games which I played a lot, especially in my childhood. So why not make a project out of it and implement the game as Flutter App. In this part of the series I will start with the user interface of the game, which will consist mostly of the game board. Later in the series we will integrate state management using the package getx, which will also implement the game logic. Have fun with this video and let's get to some syntactical operations. I've created a new project and the emulator is already running. So we have our default counter app and now we can start off by first cleaning up the main.dart file. So let's clean all this mess by deleting all the predefined classes and of course also the comments. And now we can start off by creating our first widget and this one will be called game screen which will be our initial page and this one will be a stateless widget game screen and therefore we can create a new folder for our screens and inside screens let's create another separate folder just for our page or for our screen and right inside there goes a game screen dot dart and now we can just remove this let's add a scaffold that it doesn't look that ugly with an app bar which holds a title of just let's say let's say title and then we give the body a center text of game screen save it import the new stateless widget save it and now we can see the changes Next I'd like to provide the gamescreen.dart with another widget which will be called gamebody and this of course will also be a stateless widget gamebody and gamebody is a widget which holds all of our game related contents. So the game screen also holds everything that is game related but the game body really does have all the contents and the game screen is just for navigating between different pages. So now that we know that our game screen consists of different widgets, let's create a folder for them, widgets and inside widgets, let's create a game body.dart file and here we can paste in Game body stateless widgets. And now we can start off by creating the game related contents. And first of all, of course, we have to create the board. And if we think of the board or have a closer look on it, then we can see that we can break it down into smaller components. So we have, for example, seven columns and each of these columns consist of six rows or six of these cells so a cell is like a, a blue square with a hole inside of it and inside the hole or through the hole we can see which coin is inside of the cell so all in all the board itself consists of only one component that is repeating itself over the whole board and this is the cell with this hole. This goes all the way over the board and this is the only component that we have to create in order to create the whole board. With that said, let's create a cell. And the cell will be just a stack with two children, namely two containers one container will be a simple square with a height of 50 and a width of 50 and a color of blue 
And inside of this, we need a positioned fill with an align widget of alignment center so that the hole inside of the blue cell will be centered and the hole itself will be the child of the align widget and this is a container with a height of 35 and a width of 35 and to round it up we need a box decoration with border radius circular 32 and a color of white now we have our first cell and as you have might have guessed in order to create a border column we just need to create a column widget and put six of those cells inside of it now let's first create a separate widget for this cell which will be called cell.dart or the file will be called cell.dart and now we take this stack remove it or first of course we have to create a stateless widget the name of cell and this one returns the stack here we just return the cell and now we can wrap this with a column and repeat it six times now we have our board column for the whole board we need seven of those board columns side by side and therefore we put them into a row but first of all, let's create board column dot dart where we put the column inside And now we can wrap it with a row and repeat it seven times. Our board is now nearly finished. To complete the UI I'd like to add some additional stylings but before we do that I'd like to create a coin widget and take this container of the cell to represent the coin so I just cut it out and here goes the coin which we have to create coin.dart this is also a stateless widget although this one will be able to change its color save it the coin save it and now let's add a final variable of color or we can call it coin color which will be required and instead of colors white we give it the coin color and now of course we have to provide the color here and as you can see if we change it now to red we can control the color of each of those cells so white will be empty the cell is empty and red or yellow will be the player's coins I forgot we need one more thing we need the board to be a stateless widget as well so let's create a board.dart and inside our game body here we have the board this one of course will be returned this is also a stateless widget save it Import the board 
and save it. And now we are good to go and we can do some additional stylings so that this one looks a little bit better. As a final touch I add a few stylings which I do in a quick run so you won't get bored. So let's go. In the next part of this video we continue by adding the package getx as a dependency and start implementing state management to control the flow of the game. And as our game state changes the stateless widgets will be recreated in order to show the changes in the UI. If you like this video and don't want to miss the next part, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or feedback for me, leave me a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. What else can I say? Have a nice day and hopefully I'll see you until the next video.